in the event you are wondering who will take over the Ruto brand from President William Ruto post-retirement, the answer is now very clear. His daughter Charlene Ruto has emerged as a very strong contender in this country. And I'm not talking about taking over the presidency. I'm talking about inheriting and ensuring the relevance and longevity of the Ruto family name in the political scene. And in this video, I want us to look at some of the moves that Charlene Ruto is making and what they are designed to achieve. Now, before we do that, if you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Wafula. I'll be the first one to pop up. Hit the subscribe button and you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. Now, Charlene Ruto has been touring around this country, meeting with governors and deputy governors. She has met with the Isiolo deputy governor, James Loasa. She has met with the Embu governor, Cecil Mbarire. She has met with the Kirinyaga deputy governor, David Githanda. She has met with Kelvin Katisia, the Kitui County Assembly Speaker. The list goes on and on. Now, had she met with just one county official, I would have assumed that perhaps it was just a random visit or maybe they happened to have been in the same uh, geographic area and they decided to take a photograph. But that has not been the case. We are seeing her with several county officials from different counties and that tells me a number of things. Number one, she is working on behalf of the state and she is performing some sort of functions on behalf of the sitting government. What those functions are, it doesn't seem quite clear as at now. But as time goes by, the role will become more and more clear. Now, the second thing that I'm reading from Charlene Ruto's activities is that she's actively being groomed and prepared to make her debut in politics. Probably five or ten years from now, I suspect we might see her contesting for a seat either in the Senate or in the National Assembly. And if she chooses to do so anywhere within the Kalenjin community, irrespective of her father's performance in office, she will emerge the winner automatically. So I feel it is just a matter of time before she takes over the Ruto brand and owns it for herself. And number three, I feel this could also be a case of tough parenting. President William Ruto could be throwing Charlene Ruto directly into the fire so that she can be refined as a politician and so that she can also begin to network and map her own tentacles or rather sphere of influence in the political scene. But all in all, whatever Charlene Ruto is doing is working and many Kenyans have taken notice of her. Now, I'd also like to hear your comments, so please drop me your comment in the comment section below. Do you believe that Charlene Ruto is being groomed to continue carrying the Ruto brand well on into the future? Or perhaps could many be reading wrongly into her activities? Just drop your comment in the comment section below. Now, also, if you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube. Search for David Wafula. I'll be the first one to pop up. Hit the subscribe button and you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. Alright guys, adios.